All right, so uh, a fellow named Niall Marzouk was riding around in a more expensive car. Um, he was allegedly doing things that were not great for the law, <laughs> kind of against the law, <laughs> maybe, maybe speeding a little bit, going too quickly. So of course, he was pulled over by local police. Um, they, for some reason, uh, thought that this was a little bit more dangerous person. They, um, in the end, had their guns drawn. And as uh, Niall decided to pull away a little bit, um, the police officer shot and killed him. Now, for a lot of people, they said that this was just someone who was trying to escape and the police were correct, but it quickly became a sort of issue because this was not the first time that someone has been abused by the police. In fact, I saw a lot of similarities between America and France with this one. Yes. Um, this is not the first time someone of color has been abused by police. It's not the first time they've been killed by police. Um, and this kind of sparked a riot to happen, um, protests and riot to happen. And uh, France in flames, it, it became very violent very quickly. Um, people were very upset at this, obviously. Um, with the history of colonialization and also immigration, uh, it is quite evident over the many years that France has been uh, not the greatest place for some immigrants. They've had a lot of racism, um, suffered a lot of injustice, and this is just uh, one in a list of long, a long list of um, offenses mm -hmm. done against uh, people of color. Um, and so because of that, uh, France is in a, having a really hard time, but <laughs> it's very divided right now. You have a lot of the nation supporting Niall um, and his family and trying to kind of like get some money to fund and help this protest and help like this not happen again. And then you have a lot of the nation doing the opposite, funding uh, the police uh, person who was involved in this and kind of supporting that side as well. Mm -hmm. And it is quite literally a nation or at least a city divided. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, very intense situation still going on as of the writing. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't seen any new news recently, but I'm sure if you Google it, you will see what's happening. Have you ever been near or around a riot? Yes, my home city of Manchester back in 2011, we had a brief period of rioting after uh, a guy, uh, also a guy of color, was mm. shot dead by police. Mm. Um, it was, uh, again, on film, it was not considered mm. by most people watching the video to be a fair uh, reaction by the police. Mm. And uh, in London and in Manchester, for a couple of days, there was rioting and looting, and five mm. people died in those riots. Wow. Um, it was big, but short, thankfully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, I mean, it also reminds me of the, I think, 1992 LA riots in the, in the US, where for the first time, not first time, but very rarely was a police encounter with a black man filmed, mm -hmm. a negative police encounter with a black man filmed, and so, you know, that one camera zooming in to that action and seeing that unfair nature of how they were treated sparked these riots. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's, it's just very interesting to see even, I can't do math, but let's say 30 years later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and during 30 years, we're having very similar events happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So I think what shocked me mm -hmm. is that this latest one mm -hmm. happened in France. And, mm -hmm. you know, Britain and France, we mm -hmm. have much stricter, much firmer restrictions on when police can oh, yeah. draw their weapons. Not all police even carry weapons yeah. uh, in our country. So mm -hmm. I, I remember being shocked when it happened in my country because mm -hmm. I was like, I didn't know that the police were allowed to yeah. even get out their gun like, it, like this in this mm -hmm. situation. Were you shocked? Ah, um, a, a little bit, because I always thought uh, Paris was a little bit more strict on gun control as well, mm. um, even with police. Mm. And uh, I just, I didn't, it's still weird for me to see these things happen outside of America. Mm. I don't mean to laugh, it's just, it's a weird thing to happen outside of America. Um, but I guess, yeah, it, it, I wonder if the the law was met for drawing the weapon. Mm. 
I think mm. it certainly wasn't in France because this mm. particular police officer was arrested and put on trial for murder. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah, I guess that's... He did break the law. Yeah, yeah. Whatever he was doing was not and right. And people are supporting him. Do you know the circumstances why police would, police would um, pull their gun? In the UK? No, mm. I don't. Okay. Mm -hmm. I assume a lot of strict criteria have mm. to be met. Yeah. It's not often. I've never seen it. I've never heard mm. about it. And you've um, watched cops a lot, huh? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> A British cops is, is severely entertaining. <laughs> yes, they're more comical, funny hats and yeah. little I, batons, yeah. you know, <sighs> not guns usually. They're so bright too. It's, yeah, anyways. Sorry. Uh, well, moving on from that, there's a bit of levity to a dark article. Um, but yeah, go ahead and research that a little bit more um, along with researching or at least learning about the vocabulary below. It is actually good to know most of the vocabulary down there below, or b below. <laughs> I guess I kind of repeated myself down there below. <laughs> oh boy, on that note, uh, have a good one, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Recklessly. Recklessly. Disprove. Disprove. Alienation. Alienation Surpass Surpass Reconciliation Reconciliation